We have a special treat today. We're looking at the number 17 internal filter aquarium pump. However, I am confused because there is no branding on this pump other than this barcode to tell me that it is by number 17. And you'll find that a lot with these kinds of Chinese pumps, uh, Chinese products. What happens essentially is one factory just pumps out tons and tons of generic goods and then a company like number 17 or whatever will pick it up, sell it for themselves as their own brand, but then do absolutely nothing to make it unique or different to what other people are selling. So this could be sold by any other company, um, but in this case, number 17 are selling it. The reason I bought it is because it's one of the top selling aquarium pumps on Amazon. I think it's a top four or five, and it's only $16.99. The model I got was the HY500F, which funnily enough, doesn't match the picture on the box. The one I have should only have one filter cartridge, and this is a very long box. So I'm hoping that the unit inside is the right model, but the picture doesn't indicate that. You can see it has some features like a copper wire motor, a ceramic axis, um, which is basically the little spindle inside the pump. Being ceramic, it means that we can use it in a marine tank as well. Energy saving and noise reduction design. I will be surprised if this doesn't make a massive hum because I'm not expecting huge quality from this unit. And here we have the same things again, but on here, this one, we have a German industry standard. Not sure why a Chinese company is saying it is making German quality goods. And you get a two annual motor quality assurance. Um, so great stuff. We have a CE mark and some other safety marks. Uh, you can apparently recycle it as well, which is good if you take it to a recycling center that deals with electronics. Okay, let's have a look what's inside. Exciting because it wasn't very expensive. I think mid-teens in terms of pounds. We have our Venturi and nozzle adjusters and um, connector as well. We'll have a look at that a bit later. UK plug. Good to see. Like to see that. Very flimsy cable, but nothing particularly bad. Doo -doo -doo, just teasing you there with the instructions. And we have... Oh! Well, it just shows you that I don't open these before I um, before I make this video because I was expecting this, the double whammy. This is the price you pay for ordering for cheap Chinese things. But actually, I've been impressed with the quality of Chinese products. Well, I say quality. I don't mean quality. I mean value for money. Um, you get a lot for your money when it comes to Chinese stuff. Hey, it may not last two years or three years like the uh, European stuff does, but it's half the price or maybe even a quarter of the price in some cases. And you can just buy another one, right? So there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here. Possibly suitable for a nano aquarium. Looking at it though, and looking at the size of this motor unit, I'm thinking this is going to have a lot of power coming out of it. Um, we have lots and lots of slits in the foam which means the water flow is going to be all over the place. Uh, I'll get to that bit in a second. How do we even get the foam out? Underneath. So we've got that there. The foam is cut. That is not a lot of foam. It amazes me how tiny pieces of foam like this are considered to be filtration. What is even the point of that? But we do have an area... I believe, if I can even get it off, we're going to take a short commercial break. Okay, so conundrum, I have this area here, which is designed, I guess, to be putting extra media in, like carbon or something like that, um, which is good. So you've got an area for some chemical media. And we have tabs here and here, which allow these two parts to separate. And we can see that they separate because they sort of move when you wiggle them. But I can't get them to separate. So use your imagination. This can be separated somehow and you can put media in there. Or it doesn't separate and they've just done that to make it seem like you can put media in there. Either way, it's a feature. So we'll go with it. Sponge back in. 
And here we have the flow adjuster. I like these kind of flow adjusters. This is the same as on the Awazi one. It's like a little um, fan. So that's cool. I like that. It's a bit... Um, you can kind of lose it a little bit because it goes right inside the body, but just about comes out. Plastic is awful. Cheap, horrible, nasty. Feels like it's going to snap uh, even if you look at it the wrong way. But it hasn't. And we'll take a look at the power head here. It has got lubricating oil, which is good. I like to see this. It's in a weird place, though. I don't know why you need to lubricate there. Maybe it's to help the seal, I guess, to stop the uh, water escaping, maybe. Someone's done some research and worked out why there's lubricating oil everywhere. There's a lot of lubricating oil everywhere. I would say there's an excessive amount of lubricating oil, but at least it's there. Hopefully it's non-toxic. And a very large impeller, which I've now lost the little rubber cap. There it is. As you can see, it has that ceramic shaft. That is also absolutely covered in lubricating oil. Put that back in, put the cap back in. Hopefully I don't get a disease from all this oil. Um, again, like we see in all these kind of pumps, it's a dual direction motor. Basically, when the thing turns on, it can go either direction. And we have lots and lots of play. So that's, you can hear that. Can you hear that? Hit by the microphone. That's how much play from left to right we have. So very, very uh, well manufactured and tight fitting. That certainly won't cause a problem in the future with the impeller uh, either snapping the shaft or creating loads of noise. And then that's the outlet there. Very heavy aqua pump do professional products. They do. Aqua pump do professional products. And then what we have, here's all the bits. We like bits. Even if I don't use these, I will put them on my bits shelf and then I'll have them in the future for doing things with. Um, very unique design to this. It's not a flow adjuster. It's just a Venturi. Um, you attach your airline to that bit and then you put that bit on there. You can see it. Uh, and then the bubbles are dragged down via the flow and then you get nice aeration of the water and then we have an adapter here which you can put on the end and then you can just transport water around so you could use it as for instance a mini fountain pump or something like that back together uh these suction pads all come pre-attached which is nice no messing around with that and what we'll do is we'll put it in this tank below and we'll actually turn it on. I'm a little bit worried with all that oil. I've got shrimps in here. Uh, I don't really want them to die from oil poisoning, but um, who knows, probably only just silicone, right? Okay, so we'll turn her on, full pelt, and see what happens. A lot of bubbles. And there's that hum. There is a hum. I kind of thought there'd be. It's not a big hum. It's a lot of power. That is a lot, yeah, I mean, that's fine for 50 to 150 litres. I mean, that's kind of what you'd expect. Um, you don't want it too mild. I mean, it, it's very strong. You can see the, you can see the roots. Look at that. A lot of juice there, a lot of juice. But there is a hum. Oh, there's a lot of hum. If that was in my bedroom, I would say at night time, that would keep me awake. You hearing that? And that's that play of the impeller. That hum there is all to do with how loose that impeller was. It's just rattling around. Movement is noise, I suppose, at the end of the day. And um, that's what you get when you buy this kind of filter. I mean, if it's in a fish room where noise isn't an issue because there's lots of noise already, and you just want a cheap pump to blow some water around or filter that auto got absolutely blown to pieces um or you just want some water moved a little tank filtered or something like that then uh this will be fine but if it's in a room where you're gonna be i would say don't buy one of these because it is quite loud so there we have it the number 17 or whichever brand they want to sell it as internal filter aqua pump 
Um, noise reduction design, absolutely not. It does not produce noise excellent to international noise standards. Well, maybe if you work at Heathrow, it might be quiet, but you know, this is one of those things. You're saving a bit of money. You're getting a lot of power for your money. You're getting features for your money, but what you lack for your money is quality. Cheap plastic, cheap motor, noisy motor, and just generally, you know, what you'd expect for price. If this was a properly branded, say, say a Fluval or Eheim or a Wazi, it wouldn't be in the teens. This would be around 28, maybe 35 pounds. And for that, you'd get a pump which doesn't make loads of noise. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more of this kind of content, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And if you've liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Once again, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.